Okay, um, first official signing of the year then, um, young Sammy McLeod from, from England, give us your, your yeah. thoughts on that. Excited about this one, um, somebody we, we've watched for a little while, um, I must say it's Dave, pretty much done a lot of the groundwork on it and, and through his agent, and we were getting videos compiled of him and, and using the Y Scout system, obviously no football, to, to actually get out and watch live matches, um, but then you know we spoke with Sammy, we spoke with the agent, and we, we think he fits what we're trying to do. He's he's still a young, very young man, but he's played first team football at Colchester. But he's also been out on loan um, in Conference South um, and just below that in England. So it shows he can do it. And, he, and he's a good goal scoring record coming through the youths um, as a midfielder. He went on loan and, and scored over a dozen goals. So for me, it's the kind of thing that we're trying to we're trying to build into the midfield. And he six foot three, gets around the pitch, good on the ball, comfortable. Um, and and again, it's the model that we're looking um, to fit. We want players that are young and hungry, that can push on and, and push us on uh, down the line. He sort of fits our prototype of player you've brought in recently that have played in England but have went out and loan and played man's football. He's got that experience of that. Right? That's, that's what we want, and, you know, because we understand the market within the Irish League isn't. It's, it's not there for us, if I'm honest. I think the, the prices are overinflated, um, and and the players that we want. They, they we ain't getting them because they, they want to sign. You know, they either signed at the top four clubs, but we have aspirations. We want to move up the table, so we have to look in a different market because players aren't leaving the, the clubs or the ones that we target are maybe going and signing for the top teams. So we now have to look outside of that and do these things. And once they've played a little bit of senior football, but with that ability that's got them to a contract or first team level in England, it means that they should. Um, fit into our style well. Yeah, Sammy himself, he scores goals from midfield as well, yeah. and he scores them from distance. And that's something I think we've, we've missed a wee bit this year. I don't think we've really had a goal threat um, from midfield too often. So, you know, you have to look, right, what do we want? How are we going to improve and how are you going to improve it? Should we look? And that's how these things come about. You, you're asking for a goal scoring midfielder that can also get box to box, you know, not just in this modern day technology and terminology of being a number 10. You know, we want midfielders that can do both sides of the game. Scoring goals from midfields, it's a it's an asset for us, and, and hopefully comes in hits ground running and does that for us. The first signing really of the season. Um, what is the the thought? Is it a big turnover, or is it just get keep key players in key positions that will help improve? You'll find out the turnover when everybody else finds out in a couple of weeks. Um, we've we've things that we've targeted, um, and that's what we'll be aiming at. We won't be. Whilst there might be more goes out the door, there won't be as many coming in the door. Um, it'll be quality over quantity, I think, this summer. Um, you know, we'll pad it out with some young lads, probably. Um, but I really think that we need people that can impact our starting eleven, as opposed to just having people sitting about the club. Yeah, and then you say they're a bit, a bit young, young players stepping up. They're another year older, especially even the younger ones, like Zach Kahn and stuff. There, oh, they're, yeah, they, they're progressing as well. Zach's still he's fourteen in school, um, but we certainly see him in within our first team squad next year same as Sam, Sam Glenfield um, there's two of them but there's others that I've seen over the last two weeks the under 18s under 19s have been playing and I've managed to get out and watch them um, and there's some of them that I think can actually come up and chance that maybe weren't on my radar a year ago before lockdown hit and whatever's happened over the year they've either grown physically or you know they've worked really hard on their fitness and stamina and they've looked and they've shone, we've, we've watched the games, they've been on here a couple of times over the last fortnight and it's been really good for me to see that and to see them because sometimes there might be a player there that I've seen, well there is players there that I've seen that maybe wouldn't have, you know, the staff maybe hadn't picked out but I like what I see in terms of movement and that's sometimes how football works. I, there's something I think, right, that's what we need in our squad. We might not be the standout player on the 20s or under 18s or under 16s or, or under 12s <laughs> the way that I'm going. Um, and sometimes that's how football works and there could be a few surprises in pre-season for young lads that maybe didn't think they were at the top of the order they could very quickly find themselves there and that's we missed that last year with the whole no pre-season as such so bringing them in this year should help yeah good man thank you no bother thank you